President, I am Daniele Dallera, the Milano Cortina 2026 20, Games uh, will be the most important event uh, of Italian sports uh, in the coming years. Uh, when uh, uh, does an Olympic become uh, an aid for a nation, uh, for the nation economy, for its uh, development? There we changed a lot in the Olympic movement. Our priority uh, now is not anymore that we ask an organizer to adapt uh, the host or the region or the city to the Olympic Games. Uh, we ask uh, ourselves how can the Olympic Games uh, best uh, serve the uh, long-term development of uh, our host. And uh, there Milano Cortina is a great example. According to uh, studies of the most prominent Italian universities, these uh, Olympic Games uh, will contribute uh, to uh, the creation of uh, 36,000 uh, uh, jobs and uh, will make a contribution of uh, 3 billion euro to the GDP of uh, Italy thanks uh, to this uh, new orientation uh, we have. Mr. Mike, we observe that the EOC Coni dialogue is constant and fruitful and the relation between Coni and the political world it's not always a collaborative relation, or it was not always a collaborative relation. How does the EOC observe the, situa the political situation and when does it decide to intervene? In a democratic society, it is normal uh, that you have uh, discussions between a government and a non-governmental organization, like uh, a National Olympic uh, Committee. And this is uh, true for the lively Italian politics as uh, for many other countries. But uh, for the IOC, uh, what is key is uh, that the Olympic Charter is uh, respected. That means uh, that the National Olympic uh, Committee can decide uh, on its own on the, the rules of uh, sport and on the regulations of the Olympic uh, Charter. There we had some discussions in Italy in the past. Uh, they have been solved. Uh, everybody has been sitting at one uh, table and uh, we can now see the leadership of uh, Kony uh, being established and I hope and wish that uh, there will be a, a good and fruitful cooperation also with the new government uh, which uh, is underway now here in Italy. Mr. Beck, as, as a president of the EOC you put a lot, a lot of emphasis on, on, on the young people, uh, putting the young people at the centre of the Olympic programme. And young people is not always at the centre of political program, for example. Why uh, and how the attention of DOC for young people is so important? Because they are our future. The future of uh, the Olympic uh, movement depends on the young generation. This is why we have uh, made youth as one of our three top priorities in the Olympic movement and have undertaken a number of actions. Uh, one is uh, the reform of uh, the Olympic uh, uh, program uh, because uh, we have to go where the young people are. We cannot any more wait until they come to us. We have to go to them wherever they are in the real world or in the virtual world. So uh, we have uh, in been encouraging them to uh, participate more in the decision making uh, by having introduced the IOC young leaders program where 16 of these uh, young leaders are sitting in IOC commissions and contribute directly uh, to the decision uh, making. Uh, we have reformed the uh, Youth Olympic Games, making them a laboratory uh, for new sports and new forms of uh, organization. We have uh, uh, really strengthened our digital engagement uh, uh, program and our Olympic values education program with which uh, we have already reached together with the different organizing committees about uh, 500 uh, million youngsters across the globe with this education uh, program and we have seen that all this is uh, paying off because uh, during uh, the uh, recent Olympic Games, uh, Beijing and uh, uh, Tokyo, the uh, increase in the digital consumption means by the younger generation was exponential. Uh, that means uh, that the young generations appreciate uh, that the Olympic Games, they appreciate uh, the values, they appreciate uh, this uh, new approach. And this leads uh, then to the fact uh, that 
more than 75% uh, uh, of uh, the de consumption of uh, the IOC uh, digital media and platforms are by people under 35 uh, years old. So uh, we welcome the, new, the youth and uh, we hope uh, that we can embrace them in our decision-making procedures even more. Uh, last thing, we ask you to, we are virtually in front of an audience of young people that are studying to become sport managers, sport administrators, um, a lot of things, so that we devote two years of our life to study that. Can you please address a message for, for those people? Tanti auguri uh, to all of you for having taken this uh, decision to engage in sports and uh, sports uh, uh, management. Because uh, with this, uh, you can uh, combine in an ideal uh, way a professional engagement with the engagement for values, the values uh, of uh, sport and of Olympic uh, sport. And in such a way, you can co greatly contribute to a better world uh, through sport. You can engage yourself on the social side, you can engage uh, yourself on uh, climate uh, crisis uh, issues. You can engage uh, yourself on all the UN Sustainable Development Goals for which uh, sport has been considered by the UN as an important enabler. So what a potential you have uh, for your professional uh, future. So please uh, go ahead, show all your passion and all your engagement for sport and its values. And I wish you all the very best.